Though it took years and cost tens of thousands of dollars, Paul Taylor saw becoming a licensed cannabis retailer as his ticket to retirement after a lifetime of hard work. As it turns out, I'm, I have to double the amount of hours that I'm working and uh, to be able to, to stay afloat. Taylor says he can't stay competitive with government-owned BC cannabis stores. They're selling products at, at such a low price, we can't compete with that as a mom and pop shop. Retailers like Taylor say deeply discounted pricing at BC cannabis stores is pushing private owners out of the market by offering products with razor slim margins compared to wholesale costs. Ultimately, we'll go under. CBC News reviewed the prices of dozens of products, which showed margins ranging from 25% down to 7%, along with other products at regular margins. Well, I've heard this from my retailers in Nanaimo. I've heard this from my retailers in Vancouver, in Kamloops. I mean, it is, you know, across the province, a very significant challenge to private licensing. What should I grab, Robin? I'd grab the, uh, let's go for the gelato. And the same thing is happening at this shop. You know, something has to change or we're going to see uh, small businesses in this, in this industry going out of business. Once the majority of private retailers are priced out of the market, he worries prices could rise and that BC's cannabis industry will lose many of its legacy operators who advocated and helped pave the way for legalization. The liquor distribution branch says it aims for margins between 23 and 25 percent for its flowers and pre-rolls, but admitted that it too is battling big competition, saying our stores are required to balance the need to be profitable with staying competitive with the illicit market. Richardson suspects they are being subsidized through tax revenue, but the government was quick to shut that idea down. Uh, there are always fluctuations uh, within price, uh, within stores. Richardson welcomes the competition as long as it's fair. There should be an equal playing field between all of the competitors in the retail cannabis space, including the government. He has filed a complaint with the Competition Bureau of Canada. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.